Yes, you can call this video Stomach Cause has made the people lost this in In this video, I intend to provide you with understanding about stomach ulcers, which will help you lots more than giving you instructions or knowledge. By understanding, you are you're going to be able to adapt the instructions to your own peculiarity and your situation. So, what is an ulcer? An ulcer is simply a wound that can be anywhere in your body. If, for instance, it's on the leg, we call it leg ulcer. So, if there's a wound in your stomach, we call it gastric ulcer. There could be an ulcer in the part of your small bowel or intestine, where at the point where it joins with the stomach. This is the part we call the duodenum. And so, an ulcer in that duodenum, as you can guess, will be called what? You got it right. A duodenal ulcer. Now, you wise pass. So, when you hear of peptic ulcer disease, peptic ulcer disease, it refers to either a wound in your stomach or one in your duodenum. But for simplicity, we just call it stomach ulcers. So when you have a peptic ulcer, it means that there's a sore or a wound that has developed on the inner lining, on the inside of the stomach or the small intestine. Think of it like a bag. So the ulcer is not on the outside of the bag where people see, but on the inside. You can say on the inside where you pull your face. So I place an emphasis on this because it will help you understand better when I'm addressing later the role that an ultrasound scan plays in telling whether you have an ulcer or not. The stomach contains acids normally and this helps in digesting our food and some other food. So the inside of the stomach is therefore designed to be thick and tough so as to be able to handle the acid in it despite how corrosive and I mean really corrosive. The acid there can be so corrosive. For the science students watching, I mean the real science students, the pH is as low as 1.5 to 3.5. That must be a very, very strong acid, right? For the non-science students, we have not said so. We have simply said that the acid is very strong. If you are from the part of the world where I come from, you'll be familiar with the cow meat we call shark. I love shark. That's actually the cow's stomach. You know the thickness and the feel, right? Very thick. That's a similar thing to how the stomach wall thickness looks like. Just so it can handle the acid content. So there wouldn't be a problem normally until there's an erosion in that stomach lining. Naturally, there are measures that protect the lining of the stomach from the corrosive effect of the acid aside the thickness. But when this defense is down, then the acid strikes. The erosion in the stomach, the one we call the ulcer, is as a result of the insult of the stomach acid on the lining. But like I said, this is usually not a problem. It only happens when the defense is down. Just like if you have a territory that has enemies all around, always. But then, the enemies then decide to strike, to attack when the guards are sick or down. So that acid in your stomach can be a good guy, doing his job, going about his business, busy digesting your food, and even sterilizing the food. He and the stomach living together, you are happy, I am happy, you do your thing, I do my thing, everybody's happy. But the day it gets its chance, it strikes. The pain you feel in Osa is as a result of the acid now contacting that wound area in your stomach. If you have ever gone for a wound dressing, you know the pain you feel when they get methylated spirits in cotton wool and put on the wound. It is very painful, right? But guess what? Your methylated spirit is just a pack of But here, in this case, we are talking about an acid touching a wound. The role acid plays in this disease is very important and it will help you understand better when it comes to how we treat us or when talking about the kind of food or things that you should avoid. And that's why I've decided to spend my time explaining this concept to you. I believe understanding is key. So I am not just in the habit of dishing out instruction, telling you don't eat this, don't eat that without telling you the why. For instance, in diabetes, if I tell you don't eat right, don't eat ever. The day you travel out and there's no more ever and there are food items in that locality, you will not be able to adapt that knowledge or instruction to that peculiarity. So understanding when it comes to health is very key. And in this video series, be ready to be imparted with understanding. So, this is just an introduction to the fundamental principles that will help you to understand the rest of the things we are going to be talking about on this subject. So do well to watch the other videos. If you watch all and you do all that I have explained, you should have your ulcer cure or at least well managed. Don't be selfish. Rather, sell meat. Now meet the papers. Just like POS money. If you don't get it, forget about it. The point is, share this video. Don't be selfish. Share this video with those you know or think that might benefit from it. And if you are yet to subscribe, please do. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on your notification because you don't want to miss what is coming here on this space.